Hey y'all, how we doing? I am Joy and welcome back once again to my career mode in WWE 2K19. When we last left off, we apparently beat Evolution. Um, we didn't, but the game said we did, so yay. Um, <clears throat> sorry, it's a little early in the morning still. Anyway, um, and then also I called it. AJ Styles cashed in his money in the bank case against me. Him and Finn kind of beat me down after we had our match, and then he took the title off of me. So, I assume that's what we're going to be dealing with in this episode. Um, I will check out the messages and listen to the podcast before talking to Kurt. Good morning, Dino. Alright, so let's check out those messages and the podcast before we go ahead and talk to Kurt. So, how do I do this again? Okay, there we go. It's been way too long. Alright, uh, shocked at what AJ and Finn did after your match, but I have some good news. You'll get a rematch for the title versus AJ at Mania. Awesome. Can't believe what they did to you wasn't right. Like I've been saying, I'm here for you. Shut up, Baron. Alright. Why, AJ? Why? That is the question we are all asking today after what happened at WWE Fastlane. I still can't believe what transpired, Hood. Hey, I, I was shocked like everyone else, but I get it, okay? What? When it comes down to it, WWE is every man for himself. It's like my old buddy Stone Cold Steve Austin used to say, DTA, don't trust anybody. Oh, come on, Hood. Buzz had built up this relationship with AJ and Finn for months. They literally had just teamed together to defeat Evolution. And you're gonna sit there and say what they did was justified? AJ Styles had the money in the bank briefcase, okay? What? What was he supposed to do? Just hang on to it forever and never cash it in? I understand he had the briefcase, but you don't do that to someone uh, who's supposed to be your friend. Cash it in before or after what? your alleged friend wait, 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 is wait. champion. Wait, wait, is, is there some kind of money in the bank briefcase rule book that I'm not aware of? No, but it's just a matter of basic human decency. Look, it's all about that universal title, okay? AJ Styles has a family to support, and if he's champion, that means he can support his family better and longer. Well, then how do you explain Finn Balor's <coughs> actions, huh? What does he get out of all this? I don't know. Maybe AJ Styles promised Finn a future title shot. Maybe, yeah. Maybe Buzz had, had gotten on Finn's nerves. I'm sure we'll find out more in the coming days. Yeah, well, I, for one, can't wait to hear an explanation from these snakes. That's what they are, snakes! Hold up a second. AJ Styles just posted. Oh, yeah. He said he'll 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 address the <coughs> WWE universe tonight on Raw, and that he has a very special guest to help him explain his actions. Look, who in the world could possibly help him explain his actions? There is no good explanation. I think you need to calm down, Pete. You're acting like AJ and Finn turned on you or something. <laughs> well, I, I I just can't believe you could continue to sit here and support these guys. Do you need to take a minute to cool off? No, I'm fine. Pete Clark has finally lost it, ladies and gentlemen. Let's take a quick break, and we'll be right back. <laughs> Look, I appreciate the support, dude, but it's a dog-eat-dog -dog world, and as the quote goes, it's a dog-eat-dog -dog world, and I'm wearing milk bone underwear. So, it was bound to happen one of these days, and then it did, and I called it. So, okay, Kurt, side match. Is it going to be against Finn? I'm not sure if you saw my text, so I wanted to let you know in person how disgusted I am with what AJ and Finn did. If it's any consolation, you'll get your chance at Mania. I know. Thanks, Skirt. WrestleMania can't come soon enough. While it's true, you'll have to wait to get your hands on AJ. I was thinking you could settle the score with Finn tonight on Raw. It's your call, though. Hmm... Of course I want Finn tonight. And every night. <clears throat> All right. Don't move. We have a great match coming up next. Oh, I was we supposed to cut this. We have one of the best this. talents on the roster today versus Finn Balor. I can't wait. Well, you're going to have to because this is going to be an info card match. Catch y'all back in the bus when this is done. Alrighty, that went surprisingly well. Let's go out, go out to the ring and see what's up, because uh, Kurt is now gone, and my bus is a mess. Great. I like that bed in the background, though. That's kind of cool. I like that. I would do that. 
for the last couple of days, all I have heard, why, Jay? Why'd you do it? Why did you and Finn turn on Buzz? Well, it's simple. There would be no Buzz if it wasn't for me and Finn. He wouldn't have achieved anything without us. When he was on SmackDown, he used me to get to the top. He didn't beat Nakamura in the Dome in Japan. He stole it from me. He didn't beat John Cena in a submission match. He used the calf crusher that he begged me to teach him. Then when he came to Raw, he was lost without AJ. So he became my burden. I had to bail him out week after week. And I was the reason he found his inner demon. He would have never gotten past Bray Wyatt, let alone beat Braun Strowman for the Universal title if it wasn't for me. But did I get any credit? No. Yeah, what if? Then we put everything aside to help him take on evolution, and what do we get in return? Nothing. Do you see a trend here? It's always about Buzz. He gets the spotlight. He gets the credit. He gets the title shot. Not us. He was never going to give us anything. So we had to take it. Buzz, people love to rattle off all your so-called accomplishments. And talk about how you have had the fastest rise in history to the top of WWE. Well, your biggest accomplishment is still to come when you main event WrestleMania and you lose to the phenomenal AJ Styles. And this time, there is no one to bail you out. You're all on your own. Good. Yeah, the only friend he still has had his brain scrambled by Bray Wyatt and hasn't been seen since. So I don't think he'll be much help. <laughs> no, he won't. Now, with that being said, I kind of figured that you people might not understand why we did what we did. So I arranged a very special guest tonight who can attest to everything I, I just said. Because Buzz selfishly used him to get to the top just like he did to us. So let's bring him out here. Ladies and gentlemen, Buzz's former mentor. Baron Blade. I don't think AJ Styles could get any lower after what he did to Buzz, but he somehow has by bringing out Baron Blade. We haven't seen or heard anything from him since he was revealed as the masked attacker in the match against Buzz in NXT. I wouldn't have shown my face anywhere after that either. He certainly looks like he's had a rough year. Are I you think that's take just my how side he looks. In this? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's fair. That's just how he looks. Are you going to take my side? Because that would make sense if you want to get on my good side again. Thanks for coming out here tonight, Baron. Can you tell everyone how Buzz used you to get to the top? <sighs> then he left you a broken man. I mean, he cost you everything, didn't he? No one will work with you anymore. You've lost your indie promotion, your house. All because of Buzz. He did that to himself. But whatever. That's not exactly how everything went down, AJ. I was the one who attacked Buzz after his tryout match and cost him his shot at WWE. None of that other stuff would have happened if I hadn't done that. Uh, hold on. Butterfly effect. What are you saying? Don't you want to talk about all the terrible things Buzz did to you? I mean, how he left your life in shambles? I'm sorry, but I can't stand out here and bury my former protege. Not a day goes by where I don't wish that I could take back my actions. And honestly, I deserve everything that's happened to me because of it. I still don't trust you. I didn't buy you a plane ticket so you could come out here and tell everyone how great Buzz is. This wasn't the deal we had. Attack him so that JR can uh, get upset and go save him. If I had told you how I really felt, I would have never gotten this opportunity to speak the truth. What you and Finn Balor did to Buzz was far worse than anything I did. At least I had good intentions. So I just want to say I couldn't be prouder of everything Buzz has accomplished. And I can't wait to see him beat you at WrestleMania and take back his universal title. And jump. I think I've heard just about enough out of you. 
Don't turn your back on them. What are you doing? You never AJ give up your back. AJ and Balor are attacking a defenseless Baron Blade. No matter how you feel about Baron, this is bad. He's helpless. AJ's going to break Baron's ankle with the calf crusher. Somebody's got to do something. Oh, there's somebody I was not expecting to do something. Maybe there's hope for these two after all. The enemy of thy enemy is my friend. There's a mic right there. Why don't you use it? I mean, not that you have to. Actions speak louder than words. So we're good. <sighs> oh boy, this feels like a turning point. gotta be me so I still don't trust you but well I never thought we'd see this hey it takes a big man to forgive something like that nor a foolish man how long until Baron turns on him again oh I've got my eyes on him We'll, we'll scope it out, but we'll see. Poor old man getting attacked while he's defenseless. <sighs> the following week... You might be wondering why Finn is out here with a gift. Well, it's not for me. It's actually for someone we had some battles with recently. No, it's not for Buzz either. His gift is coming at WrestleMania when I give him the gift of defeat. This <laughs> present is actually for Triple H. So Triple H, if you wouldn't mind, come on out here so we can give this to you. What could this possibly be all about? <laughs> I know it's not a birthday gift. Triple H's birthday's in July. Why would you know that? I'm a historian. Why wouldn't you know that? He's your boss. Sort of. And I mean, if you're a fan, you would know. Personally, I didn't. I know who some people's birthdays are, but... <clears throat> I just want to say, we may have had some differences recently. But that was due to being caught up in Buzz's selfishness. We have clear heads now. Right, Finn? Much clearer. Mm. So just to make sure we're cool, we got you this gift. Go ahead. Take it. It's they a got him a referee shirt? shirt? Oh boy. I see where this is we going. even cut off the sleeves so you can show off your guns. <laughs> ah, fair. What's this all about? He wants you to ref our match at Mania. Well, we were thinking, since you really don't like Buzz, and we're positive you want to do everything in your power to guarantee he doesn't get the universal title, mm -hmm. you could be the special guest referee at WrestleMania. So what do you think? Hmm. I think that's a great idea. All right. Yes. Of course it is. Okay. Mm you gotta be kidding me. The match at WrestleMania is essentially now going to be three on one. You think Buzz is out here to forfeit the WrestleMania match? No way. <laughs> it must look pretty bad for me right now, huh? Like, I've got no chance with Finn Balor on the outside and with Triple H on the inside? Well, that's where you're wrong. Because at WrestleMania, I'm not gonna be on my own. I'm gonna have someone in my corner to even the odds, to watch my back. And that man is Baron Blade. Okay, now Buzz at least has a chance. Yeah, if he can trust Baron, because if he can, it'll end up being four on one at WrestleMania. We should bring Cole Quinn in too. I'm just saying, it would be more beneficial to us. 
But I completely agree. You can't really trust Baron. But we'll see how it goes. And hopefully we're not going to go straight into Mania because I'm busy. And I want to save that for the next episode. So hopefully. Okay, it's WrestleMania. Ah, no. Okay, I don't know if they're going to give me a save point or not. So... Shoot. This is not what I wanted. I'm gonna cut it here because I don't know what they're gonna send me into. So we might, we might just go straight into Mania and I don't know if this is the final episode or not, but if it is, then that would be episode 30, which would be very nice. Nice little round number, I'm a fan of that. But anyway, um, the story's kind of come full circle, which is interesting. So we'll see how it all plays out. In the meantime, check out the links in the description for my entire My Career playlist, as well as other wrestling-related content that I've done, and my link to Twitter and my Discord server to become a loved one. Thank you all so much for joining me on this joyous journey through my career and YouTube in general. And I hope to catch you guys next week for possibly the finale of my career. Catch you soon.